Hey everyone, it's John. Welcome to the Active Towns channel. Uh, I am heading down to the bank to open up a new bank account here for the YouTube channel. And I thought it'd be fun to show you my ride down to the downtown area. So enjoy. It's a good example of uh, how narrow it feels when there's parking on both sides. It slows the motor vehicles down quite a bit. And is pretty typical for a morning. This is about 10:30 uh, in the morning, and uh, not very much traffic. <laughs> Typically, we'll see a few more uh, people uh, walking and biking uh, through this area. But uh, yeah, right now it's very, very quiet. A very pleasant ride. And as you can see now, we're down onto the Butler Hike and Bike Trail. This is a nice uh, way to be able to get uh, into the downtown area. We do share space here with lots of uh, people walking, walking the dogs, running. It's quite pleasant. come around the corner here you'll see a nice uh, view of the downtown In addition to the view of the downtown, if you look across the way there, you can see several uh, busy streets. You've got Lamar Boulevard there and Cesar Chavez.
This particular route gives us the ability to circumvent all those busy streets. In the background there, you can see the, uh, the new Google building, the sale building. Got a nice curve to it. Butler Hike and Bike Trail, making our way onto the Pfluger Bridge, the Bike and Pedestrian Bridge. This gives us the ability to get across Lady Bird Lake. Um, and again, it gives us nice, safe, all ages and abilities uh, access to the city. view of the city here from the bridge. And now we're going to take the uh, little spiral back down to the Butler Hike and Bike Trail, which is right down there. Now we are back on the Butler Hike and Bike Trail. This time we're on the north shore, the north side of the Lady Bird Lake. And making our way up past the uh, intake for the old Seaholm power plant. And we'll see that that'll be an area that needs to be improved. Uh, we don't ha actually have the official trail up at that point, um, but it is coming. There's going to be a cantilevered or a uh, boardwalk style. So the trail will actually uh, make a turn sort of the right, just past these trees, go down to the level of the lake and uh, make it past this uh, intake building that you can see off to the right here. And you can see they're starting to do some of the work on that intake area. And you can see right about where the boardwalk will uh, jet out into the water. That'll be a wonderful improvement. Get us up away from the, uh, the roadway here. Although it's as a temporary solution, this has not been bad. But it will be nice to have that done. Nice place to sit and do some meditation. Just 
So we're gonna take a left here and go up uh, Shoal Creek Trail just a little bit till we get to the Third Street Bridge and connect to the downtown Third Street Protected Bikeway facility, which is just an absolutely wonderful protected infrastructure, uh, very inspired by Dutch design, as you shall see. I'll swing this back around so you can also see the newly constructed bike and pedestrian friendly Second Street Bridge. This is our downtown library. Absolutely phenomenal library with a bike, indoor bike parking facility right there. And again, just absolutely fabulous. And of course, you always see dignitaries when you're out filming. Hello, hello, it's Ted and Heidi. Good to see you. Pretty cool seeing uh, Ted Siff and Heidi Anderson. Heidi is the executive director of the trail. So the Trail Foundation and Ted Siff is one of the big advocates and activists here in the area um, and the person who is behind the Austin Outside Organization, which is an organization that has pulled together multiple um, nonprofit organizations and institutions, as well as some uh, for-profit to advocate for good stuff here in the city. Let's swing this around. This is the Third Street Protected Bikeway. This facility has been around for a little while now. Most of this section that we'll see in the video is from circa 2014. So some of it uh, did go down in 2015 and some of it has been torn up and repaired as different buildings have come in. But uh, yeah, for the most part, this is a facility that we have enjoyed for some time. Again, the history of this is that uh, several city officials traveled to the Netherlands on a study tour and benchmarking tour and uh, got some information on how to do this. I'm gonna scooch up just a little bit here so you can see the, the red bus only lanes and we do have our own bike signal here so we are good to go and as you'll see up here you know certain compromises had to be made this is a loading an active loading zone area so we have a little bit of finagling to get through this area but for the most part everything works pretty smoothly as long as folks are not blocking the bikeway. <laughs> and it looks pretty good today. All right. And we are actually gonna stage ourselves here to go up La Baca. And again, you can see a, a red bus only lane there, a bike lane off to the right. Certainly not how I would uh, envision it and prefer to have it. But as you can tell, we have plenty of real estate here on Lavaca that could be uh, redefined and reallocated as space. Again, for the most part, it's pretty comfortable. The other day when I was here, uh, there were several trucks that were blocking the bike lane. Um, I just had to scan and make sure there were no buses behind me and you know I had the bus lane and since it's a bus only lane uh, I was fine. 
But again, not super ideal. Just a matter of redefining space. There's plenty of it. In the distance there, you can see some bike share bikes. And I am here. This is my bank. Swing around here. Rockstar parking. Well, as you can see, it's a very comfortable ride to make it from the house uh, here to the downtown area to go do some banking. Thanks so much for joining me for the ride. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Oh well, that was a fail. We needed to have one more document to be able to complete that transaction and get the, the new uh, business bank account set up. So I'm going to head back out and do some more filming. Come along with me. Let's do it. In my next video, join me for the continuation of my ride as I head from downtown to the Miller community, which is the redevelopment site of the old Austin airport. And we'll explore some of Austin's newest protected and separated bike paths and transit-oriented developments along the way. This has been an Active Town's Culture of Activity production. Thank you once again for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that bell. These little things really do help out a great deal, so I much appreciate it. Cheers.